Hey Pen Adventures, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. This is your glamorous Pen Adventure Shalomi and today I'm coming to you with my front porch refresh. So if you want to see all the little touches I've added and the changes I've made, you know exactly what to do. Just keep on watching. Okay Pen Adventures, this is what the front porch looks like currently. Um, there's debris, leaves, you name it. My chairs, um, have been covered since the winter time. So I'm getting ready to uncover them now and clean this place up, clean the door, add some greenery and make the place look basically spring and summer ready. I have. After removing the covers from the chairs, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning the porch. And the first thing I'm doing here, guys, is I'm using my shop vac and I'm just blowing off all the dust, debris, all the leaves, everything from the porch before I move on to my next step. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to wipe the table off. And as you can see, I'm using Lysol wipes. Yes, Lysol wipes, I'm going to use that to clean the table itself as well as the glass on top. And then I'm going to dry it up using paper towel. Here I'm using the same paper towel that I used to dry up the table because it's a little damp, so it's perfect. And I'm just cleaning off all the pollen and the dust from the chairs. After finishing up the chairs, I've moved over to the door and with the door I'm just using um, a washcloth with just water to wipe it down, getting in all the creases, all the little crevices, all the curvatures that the door has to get off all the dust and all of the pollen from it as well. These doors have a neat little feature where I'm able to open the glass portion of it, just like so, from the inside, and that's how I get to clean the glass. So what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just using the same rag with just water. Um, at this point, I could use Windex if I wanted to, but I just chose to use the same rag with the water. And after cleaning the, um, the glass portion of it, then I'll go in and dry it up and shine it up nicely again with paper towel. Okay guys, now that all of the cleaning is done, all the debris is gone, everything is nicely wiped down and I have a fresh palette, let's get to the fun part of adding some decor. So here guys, I have um, the flowers and things that I'll be adding today. I got me some ferns and some hanging um, flowers. I also got me some hanging baskets that you're looking at here. And if we go back, those are some flower pots that I got from Ross. It was in my recent haul video. And what I did was they were like a chocolate brown color. I spray painted them black using this Rust-Oleum spray paint and just made them how I wanted them. That way they would be able to match the furniture or the chairs and table that's on the porch. I got these hanging baskets from Lowe's, but because I already have my own baskets, I'm just going to remove that um, handle piece and all you have to do is hold it, snap it off from um, the sides, just like so. Pull them off and after that you're left with just the pot. I will not be doing any replanting whatsoever. I'm just going to take the pot and place it inside of this new hanging basket. Just like that and we're ready to go. Okay. 
Now we're ready to put the ferns in the pots, one on each side, but let me show you something before we put them in. Here I have um, these plant risers. This one is an 11 inch one. I picked it up at Lowe's. And all you do, you place it in the planter to give your plant a little bit of elevation so it doesn't hit the bottom and you have a lot of greenery on top. So you place it in and then you just lower your plant into the planter. Now for the table guys, I'm using this beautiful floral arrangement. It's actually a hanging plant as you can see. It has the hanger attached, but I'm going to use it. I'm just going to place it on the vase. And what I will do is I'm going to turn it like right side up. So I'm going to let the chain hang down in the vase to kind of, you know, add that extra weight to the ball itself. Place it on and we are good to go. I'm also going to add these beautiful black and white striped coasters right there beside the vase. And guys, I forgot to mention that I got the floral arrangement you're looking at here as well as these uh, coasters from Marshalls. The florals were $14.99 and the coasters were $5.99. And the last thing that we're going to add, guys, are my beautiful pillows that I got from Hobby Lobby. Front porch sitting, you would have seen these in my last haul, and it just adds that little extra touch to my chairs. All right, guys, everything is now in place. This is what it looks like walking up to the porch. I'm going to take you closer so we can look at everything in detail. These wreaths on the door, I've had them for like three years. I brought them from Toronto. They're tulips and they're absolutely beautiful. And then panning down, I got this welcome mat and I like the little design that it has on it because it kind of, you know, mimics the door a little bit. So I went with that mat and I got it from Ross. It was $5.99 guys, $5.99 and it's absolutely beautiful. Here again, you can see my ferns and these ferns are called um, Kimberly Queen ferns. Now I know nothing about ferns, okay? I saw this lady and she told me that she likes them. She had them in her cart and she's like, oh, just go ahead and try them, they're beautiful. So that I did. Uh, here you can see my hanging plants. I call these um, million bells. I think they have another name for them. But that's what I call them and I'm going with these ones because that's what I've always used even when I was in Toronto. Now guys, we're moving over to the side where the seating area is. And I think it just looks absolutely beautiful. Everything just came together very, very nicely. As you can see, I've gone with the black and white and then the yellow is my pop of color along with all the greenery and stuff that I've added. Why don't you go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know if you like this look, if you like the pop of color, and you know, if you like the overall feel of my front porch. Now this is, guys, is such a vibe, okay? I'm just absolutely loving the way everything came together. I just want to take a quick pause and give a shout out to one of our family members that I met at Lowe's today. Janet, hey girl, hey, it was such a pleasure meeting you and thank you so much for supporting the channel. Okay guys, this is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know how you like this porch refresh. And if this is your first time seeing my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I truly do appreciate you stopping by and clicking on this video. And I would love for you to join the Penny Pincher family by hitting the subscribe button below. And make sure you hit that notification bell also. That way you never miss an upload. And I have a lot of content coming, so you want to make sure that you click that notification bell. And to all my lovely penny pinchers, you already know exactly how I feel about you. I love you, love you, love you, love you. Until the next video, this is your glamorous penny pincher Shalomi saying bye-bye.